It's about to be one of those New Year old me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About to get back to the old me. The six or seven days a week at the gym me. The hundred push-ups before breakfast me. Breakfast. So what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy G-R-A-J-A-S-M. Oh. Y'all like that new music on the intro, huh? Yeah, it's that Omicron Beats. Yo, go check out omicronbeats.com if you want to get, you know, some fly music for your videos. Uh, real good friend of mine. Does amazing work. I mean, he works hard. He was up this morning. Uh, uh, what time was I up? Like, like five or six he said he had already been up for like an hour and a half, so he's at 4.30, you know, producing, making beats, and then he got to come out and do this kind of work, crawling under houses, attics, crawl spaces. Yo, go check. Listen, go check out his page just for the simple fact that he does this job and he makes beats. So, yeah, I mean, he, he's a hard working dude, man. I'm telling you, nothing like it. But first work day of the new year, and... uh I don't know, I'm excited for this year. You know, I, I plan on, um, you know, enrolling back into school. And I plan on just taking it to the next level. You know, try, trying to, you know, solidify my retirement. Because everybody, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Hey, listen, man, all I want to do is work and then stop. <laughs> I want to build up enough so that I could you know, eventually stop and be cool. I don't, I don't want to have to, I don't need to be a millionaire. I don't need to be, you know... Uh, uh, gold toilets and marble floors. I don't need none of that. I need to be able to 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 pay the bills, you know, you know, eat, uh, have some form of entertainment. Now, entertainment is different for everybody. Uh, for me, you know, if if need be, I go back to uh, to teaching. You know, I thought about that too. I was like, yo, man, if my house is paid off, I'm going back to substitute teaching. Like. Let's say I started playing scratch offs and I went a hundred thousand. I'm getting that hundred thousand, paying the crib ball. I'm going back to substitute teaching, you know, and uh, maybe I'll get a new car. <laughs> but I don't need to have you know this super super flashy stuff. I think I made a video about that before. Like yo, if we really looked at what we need in life, yo, a lot of us we put a lot of extra stress on ourselves for no reason. I was just watching somebody that said they're having uh, some issues with um, employment and finances and things like that. Yo, know, just remember, you don't need as much as you think you need. Uh, as long as you got food, as long as you got a place to live, and the people around you, you know, care about you. I mean, you can make it through a whole lot. And uh, the biggest part is not just making it through, but making it through and being content or being happy or satisfied with what you got. We don't we don't really think about that a lot. Like, like yo, I want yeah. Listen, I would love to have a new car, a little push button start, Bluetooth, pull to the house, the garage door open up. You know what I mean? Step out, got some fly ass shoes on. And listen, I would love to have all that, but do I need it? And what kind of stress comes with getting that? Let's take all white shoes in the African American community. Might be one of the most stressful things you could buy. Right, all white shoes are some brand new Tims because the second something happened, like yo, I be seeing dudes walking funny so that they don't put a crease in their shoe. Like, is that really worth having a nice shoe? You know, what I mean, you gotta work, you gotta work extra hard just to get the money for the shoe, then you gotta work extra hard to keep the shoe looking nice. Like, yo, we, you know, what I mean, like, yo, calm that down, calm down, young man. <laughs> so, we really gotta focus in on what makes us happy. Uh, and what is the return on that happiness? How much stress is attached to that happiness? And are we in a surplus of happiness? Or does the stress take away from some of that happiness? I mean, I purposely don't buy Jordans because it costs too much. Like, yo, that the, the, the cost and what you got to go through to get that money. Like, I got to do overtime in somebody else's crawl space in a basement. I got to do overtime on purpose. Not just that accidental overtime like, oh... You know what I mean? Uh, uh, instead of it being 45 minutes at this house, it took me, you know, an hour and a half. Nah, nah. I'm talking like I got to come in on a day off to make extra money so that I could, you know, and I got to work a lot more extra because 
they take a lot more in taxes. It listen, it's it's too much stress, too much stress, just to have, you know, something else. So, buy something cheap. You know what I mean? It's not so flashy. And uh, if you're buying something to impress somebody, that's the other thing. Like, like I already got a wife. You know what I mean? So I'm not buying nice clothes so I can go out and look nice to attract somebody else. Um, if I'm going out and buying nice clothes, it's because, you know what I mean, I just want to, you know, I want to stunt. I want to show off. You know, hey, look, I did work this overtime. Look at what, you know, I accomplished. So that somebody could say, wow, great job. Most of the time, that's, that's, that's good enough for a lot of people. Like a compliment, uh, recognition, uh, acknowledgement. Once you get that, you know, a lot of people, you know, maybe cool. So if you could get, you know, those kind of accomplishments, say, listen, man, I see you working hard. Your bills is paid. You still got a house. You know what I mean? You doing your thing. You ain't, you ain't, uh, you know, uh, using fake names or tax evasion and all that kind. Of, listen, as long as everything is cool and you're doing your thing, you know, you're successful uh, to a level that you consider to be successful not just being alive because being alive it don't take much to be alive it might take a lot to not be in a bad position especially depending on where you live you know some of these inner cities it's like yo man i made it to the next day i'm like oh yeah cool but it's over seven billion people on the earth and they all live to the next day so how successful are you you know what i mean when you when you put it into perspective like that but i'm rambling my point is Figure out what makes you happy, all right? And whatever it is that makes you happy, weigh out the, the pros and cons of what it takes to get that happiness and the amount of happiness that you get from it. Like I said, for me, jewelry, psh, zero. That joint is a negative for me. You know, some people, like, they want to have nice flashy chains and they go out and they spend all this money on it. That's a negative for me, man, you know? It's a, it's a big, fat negative. Now, my 401k... Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> you know, because when we retire, baby, we ain't going back to work. Uh-uh, I'm putting my feet up and they ain't coming back down. Mm -mm. I might go get a hammock and move somewhere where it's warm so I don't even have to turn on the on the, on the uh, air conditioner. Or, I'm sorry, not even have to turn on the heat. But that's about it for today. It's your boy, G-R-A-J-S-M-O, and I'm at. Yo, I ain't going front, you know what I'm saying? Nigga living. About time, CMP, shit is going my way, you know what I mean? It ain't nothing like it. Yeah, it ain't nothing like paying the bills on time. Enough dough left to know that we still gonna shine, but it's never and enough. What makes us happy, and what is the return on that happiness? Damn, man, you get shut the fuck up. So we really gotta focus in on what 